A few months ago, I was standing next to the speaker, and it somehow just spontaneously broke. This piece of glass just spit itself off, and there was then a hole in the beaker. At the time, the beaker was empty and not doing anything though, so it didn't really matter, and I honestly didn't think too much about it. It was definitely weird, and I didn't really understand why or how it happened, but I ended up just forgetting about it and moving on with whatever I was doing. A few weeks later though, when I was filming for a video, it happened again, but this time, the beaker was full of acid. Thankfully, it was just all dilute acid, so it wasn't really a huge disaster, but it did end up spilling everywhere. When it happened the first time, I thought that it was just some weird freak accident or something, but now that it happened again, I started to worry about what was happening. The break that happened was very weird and was also exactly the same where this small piece of glass was ejected from the beaker. I tried thinking about what would cause it to break so weirdly like this, and it only took me a couple minutes to figure it out. Back in August, I posted a video about making plasma in the microwave, and to do this, I ran it in beakers every time. The plasma was extremely hot though, and in several runs I let it go for a really long time, and it probably got close to melting the glass. This wasn't very good though, because after that, as the glass cooled, it probably introduced a bunch of new internal stresses. To avoid this, I would have had to anneal it, which meant that I'd have to cool it at a very slow rate and then hold it at a certain temperature so that all these internal forces could slowly even out. I of course didn't do that though, and the moment it was done in the microwave, I just popped it out and let it cool back down to room temperature. Also, in that plasma video, I found that as the plasma formed, it would pull sodium ions from the glass, and this could also potentially destabilize it. So, in the cases that I just let the plasma sit there, it might have been messing it up in two ways. After this, the glass was potentially under some extreme stress, but I didn't know that at the time, so I mixed everything back with all my normal unused beakers. However, now, I had no idea which ones were the good ones, or the ones that might just potentially explode. They all visually looked the same, and the only way that I thought that I could maybe see the difference was by looking at the glass through polarized light. This is often used to see the different stress patterns in glass, and it probably could have worked, but I just didn't really think it was worth all the effort. Also, I'm really not an expert when it comes to glass stress patterns, and I really didn't want to risk even just missing one faulty one. The idea of just having even one beaker that could potentially break on its own was really scary to me, not only for safety reasons, but also it could potentially ruin an entire project. So. I decided that my only option was to just sacrifice all of them. Thankfully though, because they were my own branded beakers, I was able to buy them in bulk for a lot cheaper, and this isn't a huge financial loss. I felt like it was a total waste if I just threw them out though, so instead, I decided to have some fun with it. 